Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to install the localized weather mod version 2.3.9. So, Coros finally updated the mod. It was not an update to 1.8. Um, he stated in a forum post that he is probably going to skip the update to 1.8 because it's a pretty big update to tackle, and he's, you know, fallen behind lately since October when he got a new job. So, you know, respectively, he's probably going to skip the update to 1.9, just update it to 1.9 whenever that comes out. So, it's still going to be a while before the game is updated to 1.9. But, nonetheless, it's an update, right? <laughs> Alright, so, um, uh, thing is, there's a little trick on updating this one. So, in order to update to the localized weather mod, you now need the mod download, forge, and Coro Util. So you're going to have to download those three things. I will have a download link for all of them below. You just gotta click on that link there. Wait for ad block. I not ad block, but ad fly. Don't use ad block. Save that. Go back. Make sure you support the moderator or the mod creator. Uh, Forge Universal. 1.7.10 go there okay wow okay it's not loading oh yeah you're gonna go installer for windows I think okay shown as an advertisement blah 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 you gotta wait five seconds save file Go back to Chorus's website again. And then you got to actually download the main. Wait, which ones have we downloaded? We've downloaded the Weather 2 mod, Forge, and then you have to download. This is the new one. You have to download Coro Util mod. It is not included in the zip file anymore. You download the jar file, the jar file, and the jar file now. So. You go here, mirror one, and download Coral Util. Alright, so yeah, save file. Alright, so now we have these three. So, the next part that you want to do is you want to run version 1.7.10 of Minecraft. After you've ran Minecraft 1.7.10, you want to double click this, yes. And you want to install client. You're going to click OK, and you're going to do whatever you, it wants you to do, because I've already got a client installed. Yeah, you're just going to hit OK, and it's going to install it, okay? So, um... After you've installed that, run Minecraft 1.7.10 again, and then you are going to go to, you're going to open up a new, ah, a new file explorer, uh, where is it at? Yeah, new Windows Explorer file thing, and you're going to want to click in there, backspace, percent, app, data, percent, enter. Now, somewhere on here, there's going to be .minecraft. It might be up there, it might be in the middle, it might be down here. Either way, there's going to be a folder named .minecraft. You're going to double-click it, open it up, and it's going to take you to here. And inside here, there should be a folder called mods. Double-click and open that folder, and then drag both weather2, 2.3.9, into there, and coral util into there. And after that, we can just run minecraft just to prove that it works <laughs> uh... yeah make sure you select the forge ignore that because i had to down i had to install an extra version for this video oh, i'm on my wrong account alright so just wait Aha, uh -huh, there we go, look. And localized weather and storm mods right there. Single player, let's open up the new world. 
Ah, I don't have the other mod, so it might break a little. <laughs> and would you look at that? <laughs> Weather 2, right here, using my resource pack too. <laughs> Glad that still works in this update, right? No new blocks either, so I don't have to update anything like that. But yeah, I'm, uh, so there you go. That's how you install the localized weather mod for Minecraft version 1.7.10, uh, version 2.3.9 of the mod. I'm, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Like if this tutorial was helpful. Comment if you run into any problems. I will try to resolve them for you. Uh, subscribe for, um, Minecraft Tornado Survival Let's Plays, where I just do a Let's Play in this mod and run from storms. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye!